The real pirates had inspired one piece. Jewelry Bonnie. One of the most well-known women pirates in history, Anne Bonnie lends her name to Jewelry Bonnie. There are many tales of Anne Bonnie's rebellious attitude from the time she was a teenager. At 16, she decided to abandon her father's household and marry James Bonnie, a pirate. During that time, she made many pirate friends and finally left her husband for Calico Jack Rackham, a small-time pirate who Anne later married. They both had a son, about whom we don't know much. A few months later, Anne Bonnie partnered with another famous female pirate, Mary Reed, with whom it is believed she also had a romantic relationship. Anne's promiscuous lifestyle, tales of which can be found in popular lore, could be reflected in Jewelry Bonnie's gluttonous behavior. But, contrary to her real-life counterpart, Jewelry is more inclined to help another pirate, like saving Zoldo from what she believed to be his imminent death when he interfered with a world noble. While no one escaped from the punishment of hanging, Anne was pardoned along with Mary because they claimed to be pregnant, and also because of Anne's father's influence. After this, her fate is unknown. Iron Mace Alveda The first pirate antagonist that Luffy meets, Iron Mace Alveda, is inspired by a Danish princess that became a pirate, Alwilda. Because she refused her father's choice of marriage, Alf the Prince of Denmark, she ran away and with a group of women commandeered a ship and dressed as men sailors. After a while, she met a crew that recently lost their captain, and Alwilda was elected as the new one. Along with her new crew, she attacked many royal merchant ships. Meanwhile, Prince Alf, along with the navy, went looking for her and her crew. They were able to find her ship, board it, and defeat her crew. Impressed by this, Alwilda finally decided to return as princess and marry Alf. Alwilda leading a crew of men parallels One Piece's Alvida running Buggy's crew while he was in prison. Also as a twist, while Princess Alwilda ran away from life governed by looks, Alvida ate a devil fruit that made her more attractive and was looking for the attention and appreciation of men. Bellamy the Hyena Bellamy the Hyena is the complete opposite of his real-life namesake, Black Samuel Bellamy. While the fictional one was cruel and arrogant, the real Bellamy was very merciful and generous to all his captives. Due to this, he was nicknamed the Prince of Pirates. Furthermore, he is considered the wealthiest pirate in history. Bellamy had a democratic rule over his crew, and they likened him to Robin Hood. He began his sea life as a member of the Royal Navy. After that, he joined a band of treasure hunters. As they had little success, they joined the crew of pirate Benjamin Hornigold, whose first mate was the famous Blackbeard, Edward Teach. As Hornigold refused to attack English ships, the crew demoted him as a captain, and Hornigold, along with Teach and the other loyal sailors, left the ship. The rest of the crew elected Bellamy as the new captain. After that, they had a lot of success, robbing 50 ships in one year, and Bellamy earning fame known as Black Bellamy. Their greatest capture was the slave ship Wida, that had numerous riches, and Bellamy decided to keep the ship for himself. His death came after the ship was hit by a powerful storm. Only 8 out of 148 people on board survived, and Bellamy wasn't one of them. Roronoa Zoro the master swordsman of the Straw Hat crew is named after the French pirate Francois Lolonet. Pronounced in Japanese, the name sounds very similar. It's hard to find any parallels between Lolonet and Lolonoa besides the name, as the swordsman doesn't have the cruelty and lack of compassion for others which the former had. Lolonet raided many towns among all Malacaibo and Gibraltar in the Gulf of Venezuela. His crew hunted fugitives and tortured all the townsfolk until they revealed where any belongings or acquaintances were hidden. Lolone himself was an expert torturer and spared no one. After a shipwreck to escape the Spanish soldiers, after all his crew were killed, he smeared himself with the blood of the others and played dead. The soldiers missed him and he escaped in a canoe dressed as a Spaniard. He and his crew were captured by the natives who were siding with the Spanish. There are two versions of his death, cut into pieces and burned, or, some say, eaten alive. Eustace Kidd 
Eustace Kidd is based on two people, William Kidd and Eustace the Monk. Probably the connection between these two individuals is that both of them were being wrongly considered pirates, but due to different circumstances. While Eustace is obviously a pirate, and a pretty ruthless one, we still don't know many things about his backstory. William Kidd was a privateer most of his life, and was hired to protect English ships from French attacks. After a tough voyage, and pressured by his crew with few enemies to attack, he began engaging Indian ships. His downfall came after he attacked the Keda Merchant, a ship partly owned by an Indian minister. This led to Kidd becoming a wanted criminal, and he was caught, judged, and hung in a cage as a warning to other pirates. Eustace the Monk was a French mercenary who mostly served King John of England in his war against Philip II of France. Even though Eustace pillaged many English ships, he was kept in service by King John, and his role was deemed very important in the war. Eustace switched to the French side in 1212, and five years later, his convoy of troops was defeated by the English. His nickname, the Monk, comes from spending his time during his youth in a Benedictine monastery. Trafalgar D. Water Law While the main inspiration for the name is the famous Battle of Trafalgar, Eichilo Oda also revealed that the name is derived from Edward Lowe, a British pirate who was well known for his cruelty. Considered one of the most vicious pirates of the Golden Age of Piracy, Edward Lowe was notorious for the ways he executed his victims. Mutilations, decapitations, disembowelments, and cannibalism. This is reflected in Law's dismemberment of people in his ope room. For women and married men, Edward Lowe made an exception. He was more forgiving towards them due to his wife's premature death while giving birth, which haunted him all of his life. He lost most of his crew in an event called the Capture of the Fancy, when he attacked a Royal Navy man-of-war that he mistook for a whaler ship. After the battle, Lowe had lost one ship and 43 men had been captured and executed. He continued his life of piracy, seemingly becoming even crueler, until his death due to unknown circumstances. Goldie Roger the most important pirate in the One Piece universe is actually inspired by a not-so-famous one, Olivier Levasseur, but the connection between them is very obvious. It is believed that Levasseur hid one of the biggest treasures in history, around one billion pounds, and left a cryptogram that pointed to its location. Legend tells that when he stood on the scaffold he had a necklace around his neck containing a cryptogram of 17 lines, and threw this in the crowd while exclaiming, Find my treasure, the one who may understand it. These words resemble very much Goldie Rogers' discourse at his execution. My treasure? If you want it, you can have it. Go find it. I left it all at that place. Until this day, no one has truly deciphered the code and found the treasure, if there really is one. Levasseur was nicknamed the Buzzard due to his quick and merciless way of attacking ships. He retired from being a pirate, but was recognized when he tried to enlist on a trading ship. Levasseur was sentenced to death and executed. Blackbeard, Marshal D. Teach And of course, possibly the main antagonist of the series is based on one of the most well-known pirates in history, Edward Teach, which had the same nickname in real life, Blackbeard obviously because of his extremely long beard. Teach was a fierce pirate who wanted to instill terror in all his enemies. To create this image, whenever he went into battle, he would put lighted matches or small candles under his hat so that the smoke would instill a demonic appearance. Even though his reputation was fearsome, he didn't use force to control his crew, and he never killed his captives. As he was known by two names, Teach or Thatch, Blackbeard murdering Thatch in the series and taking his devil fruit signifies killing his former self and taking what was already his. His end came after a renowned battle with a force led by Lieutenant Robert Maynard. He died with five bullets in him and 20 sword cuts all over his body and was decapitated so that his head could be sent for bounty. Legend says that after being thrown in the water, his decapitated body swam around the ship three times before sinking. Thank you guys for watching, let us know what you thought of our video, and subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time!